What's up, everybody? Fragmental here. Okay, that's not my new intro. Um, I've just been watching a lot of a, another channel at the moment. Really, really cool channel, filmmaking, photography. Um, if anybody knows whose intro that is that I just did, um, leave some comments down below. Let me know. Let's see who's the first to get it. Um, right. So I don't expect many people to uh, be live on this video because I didn't um, plan to do it. It's just an off the cuff, spontaneous video. Um, I just received something from Al Haramain. Hey, Neil, how you doing? Can you hear me all right, Neil? Just checking. Hello, Moolmensch. Matt Topcat, how are you doing? We're doing it. Impromptu live stream. Here we go. Unboxing from Al Haramain. Hey, Matt Essence. Matt Pocket Sense. <laughs> yeah, just quickly, this isn't going to be a long stream, um, but I will explain what just happened with my 4 for Life video. So um, I edited it a few days ago, and it was originally scheduled to go out today. And then um, I rejigged my um, my schedules so that my um, Alpine review of uh, Exidolo was going out today, and I forgot to change the um, the upload date on my 4 for Life. That's going to go out Sunday. So some of you had a sneaky little preview. I think it was um, out for about 20 minutes, 15 minutes, and um, it had over 100 views. So you guys are hungry for 4 for Life at the moment, and there's a lot of them coming out. Um, so, yeah, um, anyone who saw it early, I will be contacting you for Patreon money. That's just the way it works. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Only joking. And Nigel, Nigel, you're on the ball. Right. OK, so some of you, I can't believe it. I can't believe how many people saw that. And it was only out for 15 minutes. I was just checking on the views of the Alpine review. And then I saw that that one had gone out as well. And I did the same thing. I accidentally released the Alpine one on Sunday when it was supposed to go today. So, I mean, I'm, I'm just I'm trying to uh, bank a few videos at the moment. So I'm scheduling them for different times. And then those times are changing. So a couple are, are sneaking out. <laughs> How's everyone doing? Center of the day. I'm wearing Orchidia uh, from Louis Cardin, which is very similar to Tom Ford's Black Orchid. It's uh, really beautiful. What's everyone else wearing? Nigel, what's your center of the day today? Did see it on Instagram, but I, I've forgotten. Um, right. So I, I wanted to um, do this video just because this package came from Al Haramain, and it's pretty amazing, actually, that they contacted me um, 24 hours ago and said, could they send me their new, their brand new fragrance from the portfolio range, which is their luxury, high end, more expensive range. And I said, let's do it. Why not? Um, and it arrived today. <laughs> I mean, how, how, how efficient is that? So they really wanted to get some, some word out there. I will be doing a full review of this fragrance, but I just wanted to, um, I just wanted to show you the package because I'm dying to smell this right away. And I don't want to unwrap this beautiful package without showing anybody. So I thought we'd do it together. You can all join me. 23 people. That's pretty good for an impromptu, an impromptu live. Um, Jung Im, um, thanks for the compliment on the, on my package. Appreciate that. Oh, this. Oh, right. Um, yeah, this is nice as well. Yeah. Um, Ernest, how you doing? Uh, I do have, what are you saying there? Expand that uh, text box. Um, yeah, LaVentia, LaVentia Night. Yeah, they're both good. Both good. No, I don't know if this is uh, based on, on anything. If anyone knows if it's based on anything, I have an inkling of what it could be, um, which we'll see. It's it's a fragrance that mm, is very good, but it's not for me because it is a very heavy rose-based scent. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna open this and look at this beautiful packaging from Al Haramain. I, I mean, I think this is the best presentation. I mean, this is this is before the presentation, isn't it? Really, this is this is just the gift wrapping. Um, so whether they're just um, whether they're just looking after me, or whether everyone's um, fragrance will come like this, 
big old package you got there. Yes, I do. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, actually, guys, speaking of my package, um, I'm putting out a, a photo tomorrow on my Instagram account. So do follow my Instagram. Um, I'll uh, that's fragmental.uk. And um, the Perfume Society asked me to put out a um, Smelfy, which is uh, a picture of me with one of my favourite fragrances. And um, I wanted to do something a little bit creative, a little bit funny, a little bit arty. It's a little bit risque. Um, and there is some um, there is some package on view. So uh, check my Instagram account tomorrow if you want to see that. All right. And I hope you're all going to post some Smelfies as well. Hashtag Smelfy if you're going to post. Let's all see each other's package. I mean, selfies, smelfies. Creed Viking, Matt, brilliant. I really need a bottle of that. I love it. Neil, you missed uh, missed you and Claire last week in Liverpool. Ah, oh, a circuit class at the gym. Well, you know, if you're not going to be smelling perfumes, doing a circuit class is very acceptable. Uh, okay. I mean, I don't know if I'm going to get to um, answer many of these questions because it's not really a chit chat question and answer session. It's just a, a video for unboxing this and I don't want it to go on too long. So we're going to commence. We've got some nice um, strips there, but I'm not going to use these because I'm going to do a first impressions of this on skin right now on this video. OK, by the way, did anyone see my little intro? You might have to watch it after the video um, is not live anymore. Um, but I want you to see, I want everyone to see if they can, um, if they can identify the channel and the creator that, that I was copying the, the intro for. And I'm watching a lot of this guy at the moment. And, and so I, I've just been, the, the way I did the intro, I've just been walking around the house on my own doing it because yeah, I'm a little bit sad like that. Yeah. Anyway. Um, someone mentioned Viking. Yeah, Nige's a Viking fan. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Jamal, did you? All right, okay. First impression is pretty special. Cool, cool. Comforting sense, yeah, yeah. It's not a fragrance channel, by the way, guys. So, Simon, ah, guys, Sim Simon is my savior because he uh, hooked me up with a really nicely priced full uh, bottle, brand new, sealed of Tom Ford's Tuscan Leather, which I wanted to add to my collection for quite a long time. And it came yesterday and it is beautiful. Is it my favorite from the private blend? I think it could be definitely in my top three of the private blend. So happy to have that bottle of Tuscan Leather. Thank you, Simon. Uh, hello, Chris, how are you? I'm fine, very well, thank you. Um, had a productive day, I've been to the gym. I've cut the lawn, first cut of the year. Um, I actually felt like I should have been wearing green Irish tweed for that one, but I wasn't. So, but you know, you, you, that freshly cut grass that we always say about green Irish tweed, you do get it, you do get that. No joke. Yeah, cheers, Simon. Thanks for that. Okay, so let's get the cellophane off. Anyone smelled this yet, by the way? It's brand new. Um, so, so Bual, Bualem 3 butchered that sorry but um suskin i'm a big fan of have you have you checked suskin out has anyone checked suskin out they're they're fantastic i i've got their travel range um i think it's six fragrances black influence is an absolute stunner i know nigel two cents worth in here is a big fan of that one he's got a great video on his channel about that but they're all absolutely beautiful the quality is fantastic they smell really natural um they're not um they're not massive shouty fragrances they're very refined quite subtle but the longevity is excellent really uh, elegantly put together fragrances i think they're fantastic okay so here we go we've got portfolio floral sculpture I'm not sure if anyone's said if they know what um what this if this is an original or if this is um, cloning anything, whoa, whoa, this, look at this, this is like a so soft leather, um, really top-notch presentation here from Al Haramain. I mean, I've got, I was just talking the other day about their um, uh, Den Aloud Cambodi, which is £25 for a 30ml bottle on eBay, and it is a beautiful 
Uh, Chad's in the room. Hey, sweetie. Kiss for you, Chad. There you go. Uh, that was a kiss on top of your bald head, by the way. I've always wanted to do that to you. Anyway, whoa, look at this. So we go in like that. Um, and within the box, we have this lovely leather pouch. I can smell this already, actually. Smell it through the bag. Wow. Hey, Joe. That comes in a nice... Look, guys, I mean, all we've done so far is talk about my package and my sack. I think this is just getting a little bit too lewd and rude for lunchtime on a Wednesday. On a Wednesday. It's not even a Friday lunchtime. Come on. Keep it clean. Sacks, packages, we'll talk about those another time. Uh, Nigel is here and you know his chat went to... <laughs> Guys, the banter is going to be off the scale with Joe sent me, Chad a gentleman's journey, and Nigel two cents worth in the room. It's going off. It's going off. Right, here we go. Look at that. That is a beauty. I believe this retail. Joe, come on. Can we keep it clean, please? No, you're not having my sack. We're both married, Joe. Come on. Um, Joe, yeah, have you tried this one from their portfolio range? I've not tried any of the other portfolios, and I know you're a sucker for a beautiful bottle. Look at that. That is a beauty. Um, so it's kind of a, it's it's glass, and it's you, you can see through it. It's slightly transparent, but it's it's like a coloured, uh, coppery, browny glass, and then this is a coppery um, colour here. It's a, it's a real elegant, um, simplistic, but luxurious presentation. Ooze, Joe oozes six peel and swag, he does. When I when I give Joe a hug in Milan, he's just gonna have to um be careful because he's just a sexual beast. And I can't wait. You need a decant. Mm, right. Okay. So no one's no one smelled this. Yes, the rose gold accent, and I I believe Joe, now you've said it, that must be because it's a rose-based fragrance. Uh, 36 in the room. No, I think there's, there's certain boxes that aren't meant to be fucked with. And um, Big, Beard's, Big Beard Business does respect that. Um, if it's just a crappy little cardboard box, he definitely fucks that box. But something like this, he's, he's, he's got more sense than that. Okay, we're going to have a little spray. No, before that, I'm going to read you out the notes, okay? Um... So, notes in this. So we've got some um, in the top, bergamot, peony, and carnation. In the mid, rose, patchouli. I really enjoy patchouli-based scents, so I'm hoping I'd pick up on the patchouli in this. Um, it's going to be very floral. I've not even sprayed it. I can smell it already. It's very floral, very rosy. And um, we've got ambergris, musk, benzoin, and amber in the base. Oh God, why Why did we have to have the Americans and the Canadians in the room? I thought you'd all be in bed. You're causing trouble, guys. Okay, here we go. Yep, it's a big old rose. Joe, you're gonna love this. You're gonna love this. Okay. Mischief man. Ooh, this is... Oh, this is great. Guys, this is lovely. Hmm. Definitely, um, definitely a lot of rose in here. But you know what? There's something in it. I don't know if it's the patchouli. But it definitely has a nice masculine undertone. Uh, I'm not saying it's not a unisex. I think it is a unisex fragrance. But um, there's something in there that, that just works for me. Um, Nigel, I'm not sure. I, I I don't own Portrait of a Lady. I think the notes are similar. I cannot directly compare it. from. I have smelled it, and from what I can remember, it's similar. But And even though it was a long time ago I smelled Portrait of a Lady, and I did feel it was too um, feminine for me, the, the too floral, um, too much rose, 
this doesn't feel like that to me. This is this is nice. I am going to do a full review of this one as well. I'm going to give this some good wearings and then I can give you a bit more of an informed opinion on how it how it dries down and uh, if I've enjoyed wearing it. It is floral. You have got to be a dude who can uh, rock the florals or, you know, enjoys rocking the florals. But sometimes very floral scents can go to the other extreme and they can almost exude uh, a very masculine feel, I think, because there's something quite masculine about a guy confident enough to wear florals, I, I, I think, along those lines. So, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I've got a, I'm not the biggest fan of, of things that are too rosy, to be honest, Chad. I think it's quite similar to Portrait of a Lady, but don't quote me on that, and I don't know if it's supposed to be exactly the same or not. Um, they did do a portfolio release, um, which I watched a Mr. Smelly vid on, and it was um, Portofino. Um, so I think it was a take on the Roly Portofino. Don't know if it was supposed to be an exact clone or not. Um, but this is this is nice. You know, it smells more. It's got a more of a rose smell in the air. But then when I when I go a little bit deeper, I get there's a spiciness to it. Definitely got a spiciness. And plenty of depth, some amber, and a nice sweet vanilla feel coming from the benzoin. See you later, Dan. Thanks for joining in. You'd be able to check out this video after because I'm going to be ending it soon. Although I'm enjoying chatting with, uh, with, with everybody. So uh, no, no, it's not going to be a long video. We're already 17 minutes. So I'm going to wrap this up. I just wanted to give you my first impressions. Okay, so I think I'm going to enjoy this more than I thought I would. Um, I think this to me seems more wearable than what I remember Portrait of a Lady smelling. So floral sculpture is first impressions really nice. I think I'm, I'm going to have fun uh, wearing this. Um, yeah, portrait of a lady. I, I yeah, some pe some people say they feel it's really masculine, but I I do feel it leans definitely feminine to me. Um, maybe I I just got to get my head around rose a little bit more. I do associate that. I think it's yeah. I used to make rose petal perfume when I was a kid, and I, I think it you know we used to sell it to to the, to our mums, and I think I've just got that association that rose is for is for females, but. All right, that about wraps it up, guys. Um, go and watch my Alpine review, which just uploaded um, a few minutes ago. It's on a, a, an amazing niche fragrance called Exidolo Rider. Um, think Tom Ford Amber Absolute, Tobacco Oud. It's kind of along those lines. Um, so definitely more a cold weather scent, but, you know, we can wear what we want when we want, really, can't we? Um, all right, that's it. Wrapping things up. Thanks, everybody, for joining in. Really appreciate it. Good to um, have a little chat with you all at lunchtime. I'm going to go and um, do some editing and hopefully get all my uh, upload schedules right. Enjoy the rest of your day, everybody. Fragmental out.